What do olive oil and microalgae have in common? That's what we've come to find out here in southern Spain. Around 50 litres of drinking water are needed to clean 100 kilos of olives before they can be milled into olive oil. The water then becomes loaded with pollutants and needs long, complex and expensive treatment. But now researchers want to clean up the water the green way using a secret weapon, microalgae. Microalgae eat some of the pollutants in the wastewater to take in nutrients during photosynthesis. These are substances such as nitrates, phosphates or phenolic compounds. So microalgae biologically clean that wastewater. Scientists have set up this pilot plant as part of a European Union research project at an agricultural cooperative in the Cordoba province. 90% of all water used in olive mills goes towards washing the olives. Our objective is for every single drop to be recycled and reused for washing, in real time. But how do these microalgae clean up polluted water? That's what researchers are trying to understand at this very colourful microbiology laboratory in Granada. Scientists are using LEDs and advanced microbiological techniques to try to discover the optimum conditions for microalgae and its appetite for pollutants to flourish inside the bioreactors. And they already have some leads. We already know a number of things. Optimal water temperatures around 27 degrees and the ideal pH of the water is quite neutral. We know the optimum concentration of carbon dioxide and know we can't exceed a certain amount of oxygen. We also know what the best nutrients are to help microalgae grow healthily in the water. Nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. These are the parameters we're trying to optimize. One of the key things we're trying to figure out is the right balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the water. Getting to know this in detail will be a big help as we develop an even more efficient recycling system. And both researchers and producers wish to increase the competitiveness of the European olive oil industry. An efficient recycling system would help us reduce our tap water consumption so we would save money. We'd also create less toxic waste so our olive oil production would have less of an environmental impact. Our objective is to provide olive oil producers with usable recycled water at a price that is more or less the same as tap water per cubic metre. Only then can we be sure to have found a realistic solution to the problem. Researchers would like to see their recycling system in operation across European olive orchards within five years. <laughs> <laughs>